How's it going guys? Welcome to the Weeb Lounge. I am Nick and in this character spotlight is the camper edition of Aoi and I really thought she was just going to be sitting in a room waiting for me to come in and then blast me. Yeah, I, I like my first person shooters. So, you know, the, when I hear camper, it's like the bane of my existence. So, you know, there's that. Uh, Aoi, I got her to three stars. I got her max rank, max skills, all that stuff. And I'm starting to wonder why I did this. Aoi, super cute character. It always has been a super cute character, but her original version, even at six stars, is kind of meh. Yeah, let's just see how this one fares. It's a little bit of a different character. Kind of. Not really. Either, whatever. Skill one, the bush shot. Your minds can go wherever it is they, they want to go. It is a multi-hit physical attack. Now, by this, I mean she does basically two attacks, but the first one hits all enemies on the field, and the second one hits just a little extra on the front line. The front line attack is does a little bit more damage than the whole AoE. So it's a front line and AoE attack. Two. Yeah, it's kind of odd, but it seems like it does a decent amount of damage when like everything's all combined. It's just different. Skill two, precious coffee. Kohi gives herself an all damage barrier and booster technique uh, point generation. And I say all damage because th this game likes to separate like magic damage barriers, physical damage barriers. This is an all damage barrier. Doesn't matter if it's physical or magic. It'll defend herself from everything, all the things. And it's a pretty good barrier too. It's it's like I think better than Karen's maybe when she does her union burst or whatever. It's it's a pretty healthy amount. EX skill increases her physical attack power five star. No clue. None. Okay, it's a physical attack character. It's chances are it's going to be greatly increased physical attack power. But who knows? She puts the barrier on. There's a slight slight little chance that you might put like physical attack, uh, physical defense or magic defense or something. That would be stupid. It'd be really dumb. It probably physical attack power. Whatever. I'm not using my f amulets or whatever to get her five star. We ain't doing this. That's all. Oh, it takes a lot to do that. Union burst. The camping blast. Just like skill one. Just like skill one. Multi hit physical attack hits all enemies on the field and a secondary attack that does just the front line that's more powerful. Same thing. Literally, skill one and the universe are the exact same thing, only the universe does a lot more. There wasn't much creativity going here, it was there. No, they just kind of threw this one out. It's like, oh, we'll just copy skill one and raise the numbers. Poor Aoi, she's always mistreated, isn't she? Oh boy, well, let's, you know, no unique equipment on any of that other stuff or whatever. Let's go ahead and throw her into combat. And I had one lined up, 14-3 here. June is going to get a six star someday. Probably like eight months from now i don't know don't quote me on that go ahead and throw her in here now a lot of the aoi characters that come out always have some kind of use right uh the original one is garbo you know the original one star that we got when we started the game even at six stars she's just garbage okay i'm sorry she's just garbage and i, I do like this it's kind of entertaining it's one of the better universe honestly <laughs> i like it but unfortunately, the character herself is just not great. Uh, not at all. Like, she does a lot of damage, and that's like it. And just, she sits there, has a little coffee, puts up a barrier, and goes. Okay. I love the universe. I absolutely love this universe. It's, pro it's probably one of my more favorite ones. It, it really is. But she, this is a character that I think might actually have some kind of hidden use. I really do. Like... Uh, one of the websites I go to, you know, out of, you know, a score out of 10, she's like 7.4. And 7.4 is, is like a B rating, okay? It's, it's like just Garbo, right? She shot the hell out of that raptor, that's for damn sure. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button, guys. Here's the deal with her. She does an awful lot of hits. And over a lot of different targets, okay? But the thing is, like... The way people are trying to gauge her seems to be is like, okay, she does, you know, a lot of damage, but it's kind of really spread out. It's not, you know, that great. So if you have her on, on a boss fight, she's going to have to do like some other crazy thing or whatever. And I'm sitting here scratching my head. It's like, okay, um, she's got this B rating. It doesn't seem like they're factoring in the five star mechanic, you know, whatever, you know, it's going to end up being. 
He's got the barrier she deplores. And and I'm just I'm just kind of sitting here and it's like, well, look at all the damage that she's doing right off the bat. What if we threw her in the arena and had her charge up like really quick and do all that damage right off the bat? Might be okay. Multi-target boss fights or just multi-targets in general. So it seems like she can do a lot of damage if she's put in a proper group where she gets a ridiculous amount of buffs. That could be an extraordinary amount of damage if you think about it, because that's a lot of different hits. So if she starts getting like crits like mad with multi hits and all these other buffs going on, couldn't she potentially do like a ridiculous amount of damage? And plus, I've seen a, on our, put on our Discord where she was at five stars max, she was tanking EX5 by herself. Something is not quite right with this character in terms of what people are saying that she's worth as to what she might actually be worth. Uh, you know, she's she's getting crapped on, right? More or less. But it's one of those characters where I'm thinking it's probably a good idea to invest in her. You know, she's free. You can grind the shards or whatever. Maybe, you know, get her to four stars. Maybe even push five if you have the stamina and everything to do. Or at least, you know, get her to four. Maybe have a, some shards left over for unique equipment. Because it's one of those characters where it's like, okay, she's kind of getting crapped on it or whatever, but you see all these, the, all the hits and the crazy damage that she could potentially do. Well, what if that potential changes when she gets her unique equipment and it really changes the game? You know, it throws on a few buffs or something or it just does more extraordinary damage or starts adding little support mechanics. The character right now could go from like a B class character basically up to an S double S tier character with just the proper little tweakage. So I'm thinking, this how we might be worth the investment. She might be worth the investment, but it's a long-term one. I mean, we're talking like she might have a few niche uses here and there or whatever, but we're thinking when she gets that unique equipment, like a year from now, of course, we're planning way ahead, that, yeah, she uh, might really own it. She really might. We'll catch you in the next video.